So, it's season three, and we're in League One. Let's see how we get on. Hi guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes we are in League One as you'll see just above or slightly off to my like you know off to as you're looking at it right left to where it's my right you know what I mean but uh, anyway um yeah as you can see there guys um pre-season's gone pretty well <laughs> and we've also started I actually made a little bit of an error and then I thought no I've not really made an error because I've actually played the Coventry game and and then I thought well that's okay because we get Hull and we get Mansfield and Mansfield is our local rival that's like a big derby like you know what I mean so that is like going to be in today's episode like you know what I mean kicking things off here in the in league one I keep saying division one league one like yeah but yeah as you can see pre-season as you can see just up here like you know what I mean it's highlighted didn't concede a goal um I think next season I'm going to take control of arranging our friendlies because the um whoever it is that arranges them is picking far too easy teams and we're not sort of you know being challenged enough as you can see from the scores now the matlock and the workshop game there's not a lot i can do about them they are in purple for a reason they are our affiliate clubs so we part of the affiliate like you know plan contract whatever you want to call it we have to play them in in pre-seasons that's that there's no no getting around that but as for the other games I can mix and match them. As you can see, struggled against like Billy Ricky and Chorley, but that's because we're, we're not at, like, you know, match fitness. Starting to get better at match fitness. Blackburn were obviously like, you know, at the same level. We just, we just managed to be. Matlock was just, it's just a no brainer on that one. Um, Cheltenham, yeah, again, you know, and then it works up. Like I say, I think I'm going to like play around with that and um, for next season and get that. So it's a bit more of a challenge. But we have started League One really, really well, as you can see um, here against um, Coventry. Um, we started started off at Coventry not as big a club as what they used to be um obviously a while ago they used to be up in the Premier League you know what I mean and um yeah they've, they've completely fallen away from that side of things but we had a, a fantastic run out and we've done well Wedgbury Patching and um Ashley Seal have, have all got the goals and um yeah you probably if any of you were quite observant you might have noticed maybe a couple of new player names in there let's get on to the new players and let's like look at the transfers and, and how things have gone so transfer wise i have brought some players in and i've let quite a lot go now quite a lot of them to be honest are out on loan so it's not like you know necessarily sales we'll go through those in a moment but we'll just look at the, the ones that we've brought in now i was trying to get anthony spiru and as you can see i actually managed to get him in the end we put a bid in initially and they said he's not for sale at any price and then literally Second week into late July, I noticed because I had him on our shortlist, he was up for he was on the transfer list at two hundred and fifty thousand, and I'm like, what? We put in a million. We put in. I put an offer of a million in, and they just turned it down. They could have had a million offers, and they turned it down. And then the next thing, within two weeks, he's on the transfer list at two hundred and fifty thousand, and I'm like, right, sign him now. There's a clause kind of within his contract. I could only sign him. If I sent him out on loan, and that sounds weird, but that's what he wanted. He said he would sign with the club, but he wants to go out on loan to a better club to get better himself, like, you know what I mean, to, to progress and stuff like that. So he wants to go out on loan for this particular season. Next season, he's quite happy to then do whatever. He just This first season, the only way that he would, like, sign on the dotted line was if we let him go out on loan, and he has gone out on loan. We've managed to sort out a loan for him, so that's something. Um, so I was actually, that's why I was getting back to Carlton Morris, because Carlton Morris, I noticed, was also a striker at Norwich, and um, he was out of contract. Yeah, and I picked him up for absolutely nothing thing and this is Carlton Morris as you can see a pretty decent player to get on a free yeah um so we have brought in Carlton Morris so we've got like two like Norwich strikers I mean obviously Spyro is not going to be playing this season um but yeah Carlton Morris well to get him on a free brilliant Norwich is not what the hell they're doing with their transfer policy um I also got um Luke Dreyer on a free but you're probably thinking well, that doesn't say free, that's a 700,000. Yes, it does, but there was a compensation clause within his contract. So even though I got him on a free, he'd run his contract down. He was into like the last six months of his contract. Um, I had to pay Crystal Palace 700,000. The board aren't too happy with the fact that I've had to pay 700,000, but 
hey, he's Crystal Palace, he's Premier League, you know what I mean? And um, this is Luke um, Dreyer. And as you can see, another quality player. I think the reason that the board are not happy is because obviously you look at his value and he's like worse worth less than the 700,000. I think that's probably why they're not, they're not too happy about that. Um, we needed a goalkeeper. That was like one of the things that I was saying in the last, not last video, but the video before when we were looking at what we needed to bring in. Um, and I looked around and stuff like that and I've managed to get Remy Matthews from Bolton for 200,000. Um, this is Remy Matthews. He's 27 years of age and yeah, again, looks looks pretty decent. Like, you know what I mean? I think um, we've done pretty well um, of bringing him in. And um, he's on sort of the same par as Richard O'Donnell that we've still got at the club. But as you know, Richard um, is 32 years of age, um, whereas Remy is 27. And so I'm looking at Remy's possibly being our main goalkeeper. They're going to fight it out, basically, and let's see which goalkeeper can be the best. Like, you know what I mean? Because they've had, like, uh, the two of them played, like, obviously, in pre-season, didn't concede a goal. Um, can we get back to this? Thank you. Um, now, you're probably thinking, why have we brought Adam Lewis in on loan? Right, I'll get to that in a bit. I'll come back to him. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I brought in this guy called Tomo. Now, Tomo... Some of you out there will actually know who he is. He's actually a viewer, um, and um, I've brought him in. Um, I wanted to try and get him in as um, one of our youth intake, but he is Australian, and unfortunately, none of our youth intake players were Australian. So I had to look around to try and find an Australian player. I did find one at Aldershot, um, so I've like renamed the player that was at Aldershot to Tomo and bought him for a thousand, you know what I mean? So this is Tomo, so this gets you an, an idea of what you look like, Tomo, there you go. I mean, obviously you've not got a, a picture, but you know what I mean? This is what I mean by your stats and stuff like that. But this is this is you, you're at two star, you've got a potential of getting up to four stars. Um, uh, you, you're way down the list. Of, um, we've got quite a lot of midfielders at the club. You're 15th in the list of midfielders. So you've got a way to go, like, you know what I mean? But um, I have... I have Part of the deal to bring you was to loan you back to Aldershot. So even though I've got you, you're back on loan, you've gone back to late Aldershot. So you're back there for, I think it's only six months though. And, and and we know all about Anthony and where he's gone. He has gone to Rotherham. Yes, um, that is where he's um, out on loan. Rotherham are actually in our league. So he won't obviously play against us, like you know what I mean. But he's going to be um, competing, you know what I mean, with Rotherham and trying to like you know like you know do well with Rotherham sort of thing. So uh, I think Rotherham are in our league. Um, hold on, they might actually be. In... No, they're not. Sorry, I apologise. Rotherham are actually in the league above. They're in the championship. So um, there you go. Anthony's um, in the league above. Like I mean, that was that was basically like part of his deal that you know he wanted to go out on loan. Um, so we have got him. Hopefully, the the, the loan deal that, that, that Rotherham gets him um, some good game time. So yeah, um, great to to bring him back to the club now. Sales um, or loans stuff like that. Um, some of these players you probably don't even know. Like I mean, because they you've never seen them they're, they're, they're like youngsters that have been in the under 23s or the under 18s and I've just literally got rid of them because they're just not 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 decent anymore so Jack Mackay has gone to Falkirk for two and a half thousand Carl Warner has gone out on loan to Kings Lynn now the reason this is why the, the, the Adam Lewis thing is because of Sam Habigam our left back our great left back um, West Brom came in with a bid of 400 going up to potential 475,000 Sam Havigan was valued at 190,000. The board agreed it. I didn't agree. I didn't want him to go, but the board have agreed it. So Sam Habigan has now left us, um, which is a massive shame. I mean, he is 29, but he's still he's such a good player at left back. And as you can see, because he's gone to like um, West Brom, who have got promoted to in um, the Premier League, his value has, has shot up to 2.1 million. Um, but yeah, that is why I brought Adam Lewis in. Um, on loan, I would have liked to have signed him, Adam Lewis, you know what I mean? But as you can see, he's a decent player, but he would have cost us an absolute fortune. So, yeah, that's Adam Lewis has kind of come in um, as the sort of like younger version of Habigam to, to replace him. Not bad on the on the, on the stats and stuff at that, like, you know what I mean? But we've also got um, Medina that we had as well. So these two will be fighting um, basically for that left back um, position. Um, but as you can see, Adam Lewis is just edging it at the moment. And um, yeah, that is why I've brought him in.
Uh, Lawrence Maguire has gone out on loan. He's gone to Halifax. Harry Taylor has been sold to Oxford for 300000 We've got Jack Holmes. I mean, some of these you might, as we get lower down, probably won't be able to see um, what they are, but I will let you know. Jack Holmes has gone to Barrow for 50000 We've got um, Aaron McGoldrick has gone to Boston United for 25000 uh, Levi Am- Amanchi has gone to Birmingham for 55000 We've got um, Justin Black has gone to Shrewsbury for 22000 um, Aaron Evans Harriet has gone out on loan to Woking. Um, Juan Puerto has gone out on loan to Forest Green. Dan Matsuzaka has gone. Um, he's been sold to, to Morecambe for thirty five thousand. Um, he was really good when we bought him, didn't we? But he's just he's just got, he's not as, as good as what um, some of the players we've got at the club now. Luke Coddington, goalkeeper, um, I have sold him for seventy thousand to Crawley. Um, Charlie Wakefield has gone out on loan to Grimsby. Um, Andrew Ijewoli has gone to Oldham on loan. We've got Patrick O'Hanron has gone out on loan to Port Vale. Michael Jones out on loan to Torquay. We've got Matt Greening out on loan to Macclesfield. Ewan you y- Ewan y- Ewan 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 Molnew um, is out. On on loan to Northampton. Nigel Griffin out on loan to Carlisle. Oliver Clay is out on loan to Bochum. I think in Germany, I think Bochum are. Um, Kane Sykes is out on loan to Walsall. Matthew Hall out on loan to Gateshead. Matt Reynolds out on loan to Maidenhead. No, Tomo, as you said, is uh, or as I've said, I should say, is back to Aldershot. That's where we signed him from. Um, and Harry Sutton um, still can't get you um, your work permit it's still been turned down for the fourth time now so um, you're out on loan at Paderborn and the good news is is you've actually had some game time for Paderborn so I'm hoping that they play you more regularly which will then give you the opportunity to get the work permit and then Anthony Spyro is out on loan at, at Rotherham so there we go that is like what has happened like I mean pre-season and stuff like that it's a lot to get through I know guys like I mean so thank you for sticking around and um, we are obviously going to get into the games which is like Hull and the big Lake Derby, the local Derby against Mansfield, and we'll see how we do against there. Hull are one of the favourites going up. We've actually been predicted as um, being around about sort of, I think it was 12th. So mid-table, I'm happy with that because the board, um, as you'll see here, um, you, you probably realise what it is, but they just literally want us not to get relegated. Um, that is um, how, how they want us to be. But as you can see, they're very pleased so far with how we're playing and stuff like that. So that is good to see. Um, the other thing is I've brought in a, a coach who's somebody that watches as well, which is um, Ben Stokes. So Ben wanted to be a coach. I'll just show you where Ben is. Um, hi, Ben. Um, thanks for watching. This is you, Ben. You come in on the coaching team. Like, I mean, we've only had one. We've only got one major coach, which is Xander. Um, as you can see here, uh, Xander Diamond from Scotland. So the two of you are our main coaches. We do have a fitness coach and we do have a goalkeeping coach, but that's the only coaches we've got at the club. <sighs> Lots to get through there. And... Um, um, yeah, let's crack on then and take on Hull. Right then, so here are the two lineups going into this one. As you can see, Hull going pretty defensive considering they're at home. They've got um, a 5 3 2 formation, and, um, but yeah, I'm sure those wing backers will, will push on, um, but you know, we'll. we'll, we'll keep an eye on them um, with us we've got um, Matthews in goal Remy Matthews is going to uh, start you guys are going to get to see him we've got Medina going to play at right back Yanni and Beck Sorensen as the two centre backs and then we've got Adam Lewis is going to play on the left back side um, Traore and Sutton uh, two sort of like stalwarts in that midfield aren't they Liam Mandeville is going to play at Cam I'm going to try and get him more playing at Cam to be honest because I think we've got some decent like wingers at the club and we haven't got that many Cam players like you know what I mean so I'm going to like see if I can get Liam Mandeville into that role and play a lot better if he doesn't make it then that's a, a, um, a position that we like still need to fill I think um, Morris is going to start up top you guys are going to get to see him um, I'm actually going to play Hunter out on the right hand side he's um, our best right hand side winger um, at the club even though he's our, our striker as well so um, yeah um, basically I'm going to play Hunter out on that right hand side with Poku out on the left and then we've got our subs which is Solomon, Wyatt, Drea, Waits, Patching and Ashley Seal right then Let's see how we do against Hull. So this should be an interesting like gauge. I mean, like Coventry was a, a fail and an easier game. Hull, um, a lot better side, and and they are predicted as like finishing um, in top spot. So um, this should be a good test to see how we get on. 
Poku's actually picked up an injury already. He just hit the post and actually Hunter's in. No, he's disallowed. He's over. Is he offside? I think he's managed to get himself offside, but um, I'm not sure why Poku has already picked up a, a bit of a knock. But as you can see, yeah, he, how is he offside? Why is he stood in an offside position from the free kick? I mean, that's just terrible. That is, that is not, not good at all. Like, you know what I mean? But it looks like we're going to have to make a change here because you can see Poku um, has um, picked up a knock and he's like a groin strain or something like that. So. Um, that is a big blow already. So I'm going to bring Ashley Seal onto that right hand side with um, with Hunter moving onto the left for some weird reason. I don't know why I'm just like not thinking straight and I haven't got like a, a winger on the bench. Not brilliant from my point of view. That is, is poor. Sorens into Traore. Here's to Mandeville. I don't know. What's wrong with these highlights? Like it's supposed to be key highlights and they take an age sometimes. Lewis now still going down his like Oh, it's a great ball in. It's a great ball in that was. Oh, and it's gone in. Oh, what a mistake by Burke. I don't know what he was playing out there. Um, it, it just, there was nothing on, like, really. And I don't know what on earth has just happened there, like, you know what I mean? But we'll see it now in 3D. Is Lewis, like, you know, surging down here? Then they could have, like, took, took a tackle on him, but they didn't. He whips this one in. Mackenzie heads it back. Burke there. I, I, where the goalkeeper is, I do not know. The goalkeeper is so far away from, like, that, that near post. And what a mistake. And we've just pounced on it straight away. And we go into the break, one goal to nil, as in Carlton Morris nets. So we got lucky with a mistake by Hull, and can we um, maybe capitalise on that, or will Hull now, like you know, bed down and, and cause us um, problems here? I'm sure, the Hull fans won't be too happy with that like, mistake, but they've got in here from behind. It's a great chance here. Quana, oh, and our goalkeeper's way out of position as well. Goalkeepers are having a bit of a nightmare in this one, as you'll see here. Over to. Plays it into Pearson. Great ball over the top here. Um, our defenders have got totally caught out. Don't know what our keeper's doing there. Really don't. Uh, he's just... I, I, I have no idea. Well, you know, <laughs> there we go. You know, you see Mandeville in loads of space here. Mandeville cuts inside. He's looking for a run. He's actually seen Ashley Seal coming in. Can he pull it across? He's going to go himself. And Ashley Seal has given us two goals to one. Great, fit, great, great um, vision there to see like the far stick, like you know what I mean, and, and be able to like hit it in off it. Um, and I thought he was going to pull it inside, like you know what I mean, to to to, to Morris, but he decided you know, the striker within him thought, no, I need, I want the golden boot, like so he's gone smack. I mean, he could have pulled it across, but he thought, like I say, it's the striker within him, and Ashley Seal has managed to bag himself um, his second goal of the season so far. So Medina with the throw, Ashley Seal sees Lewis in space. And he's, oh, what a strike. What a strike from Adam Lewis to get his first goal for the club. Wow. That is, just, I thought, like, he's not going to hit it from there, but he's managed to curl that in. This is going to, we're going to see it, like, it's so much better from this angle here. Look at that. He's whipped that. Look at the curl on that. And he's managed to just at the right time. It's just, just enough on it to curl into that post. And we've picked up ourselves three points here. And um, if Hull are supposedly favourites or whatever, then we have just shown them that, you know, we can definitely compete against the favourites. I mean, 24... We, we, again, it, we, we're creating so much. We can... Our team is so creative when it comes to chances. So with only two days before the Mansfield game, um, that is a, a massive confidence booster. And as you can see, I mean, we're only two games in, but we are sitting on top. So here are the two lineups going into this one. Chesterfield against Mansfield. We are at home in the derby and we are... We've got Matthews in goal. We've got Richard White coming in at right back. We've got Yanni and Beck Sorensen staying as the R's as centre backs. Lewis remains in at left back. Traore is also remaining in the side. Waits has come in in place of um, Levi um, um, Sutton. And um, we've got Will Patchin going to play um, in the cam roll. Uh, Charlie Lawrence has come in on that right hand side. Morris stays in up top. And Poku is okay to play um, since, like, you know, he picked up that little sort of like two day injury. But Poku is okay to play. Um, they are playing a 5 2 1 2 formation um, let's see if we can um, break them down so it's always about the fans on a derby day isn't it and like form and stuff can go out the window but it's first v third going into this one it's a tough one um, and it'd be like really good to get one over on our rivals but they'll be also thinking the same as well as they push forward now with uh, Mellis as he's like surging through the middle here trying to catch him but he's going all the way here and it's straight at Matthews and he's managed to stop that from going out for a corner Another chance here from this. Oh, was a, oh, it looks like Dolan's going. He's already on the yellow. And it looks like he is going for an early bath. Yeah, he, he's, he's out of here. Red card. Played in. Oh, is that a penalty? Yes. 
Oh, it's gone from bad to worse. Mansfield have got a player sent off, and now they've just given away a penalty as well. Poku steps up to take this one. Can he put us in the lead in the derby? He can. Nicely done as Poku nails it for his first goal in League One and the first goal of the season for him. So we're coming up to half time. We're leading by a goal to nil. And um, there we are. 15 attempts. We've had four on target. And yeah, um, one of them obviously being the penalty. But that is all that is separating the two sides. Mansfield uh, definitely given us, a, I think, a tougher game. Even though they were down to 10 men, they're, they're giving us, uh, I think, a tougher game than what Hull were. Here's Richard Wyatt with the throw. Wait, no. Back to Wyatt. Can he get a ball in? He can. Morris is there. It's gone to the far post. Poku's going to get onto this. And he's got himself his second and he's on for a hat-trick. And you just don't leave a ball lying around with this guy. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing desperate to try and keep hold of him because he's just because he's getting so good all the time. He's, the scouts will be coming, like, you know what I mean? Like, and we'll, we'll end up losing him. But a nice little back heel there from Waits. Great ball in. Hit on by Morris. Poor, poor clearance from, from Preston there. Not the not the club, Preston, the players. You can see just run past and Poku just pounced on that one. I can't believe what a great start we're having to life in League One. I mean, our first three games of the season and we are looking like we're going to pick up um, all maximum points right now. Poku's there. Hattrick, is it there? It is. Wow. What a performance from him. I mean, like I say, he picked up an injury in the last game, didn't he? But luckily he was only out for a couple of days and he's just like come back all guns blazing, hasn't he? He's just got himself his first hat-trick here. I mean, not his first hat-trick for the club. He's got hat-tricks before, but his first hat-trick, like, obviously, this season. Just, oh, just look at that. Quick reactions from him. He took the ball, like, initially, and then he realised it was just getting away from him. So rather than just, like, just standing there, he just slid in and just slid it past the keeper. Lovely play from him. I'd love to be able to keep over him, but i just got this feeling we're not going to be able to. Here goes um, Perez. I was talking to someone as well. I think it was in the in the comments, and they've also signed Poku as well, and he's doing fantastic. I think they've got him at... Um, did they say he's got him at Notts County or someone like that? I think they said. And um, they said that Poku is doing really well for, for for them as well. Like, he's a good player. G just giving away like the fact that they got a player sent off, then they gave away a penalty. It just all went it just all went downhill from there on, didn't it? Like, you know what I mean? And we just massively capitalised with a, a hat-trick from Poku. Great ball in here. Ashley Seals in. Oh, he's at the post. And offside, actually. Wouldn't have counted. Uh, ball over the top here Beck Sorensen's there though and it's come out here to Medina can he play this down the line he's actually going to keep going himself and he's just yeah he's just wasting time really that's fine like I say we're into pretty much the final minute now as Medina just throws this to Drea he do anything back to Medina just going to keep ball here don't know what's going to happen here Beck Sorensen sees weights and loads of space here plays it into Ashley Seal and it's being pushed a little bit wide can he get the ball in he can't it's just Wasting time again. It's gone out for a, a throw in. Is that ref going to call it here or is he going to continue? He's, he's quite happy for it to continue as Richard Wyatt gets the throw. Throws it to Waits. Back to Wyatt. To Waits. Plays it in. Morris over the top. There it is. Final whistle. Three goals to nil. Fantastic performance. Like I say, it all went downhill once. Obviously, they got a player sent off and then not only literally from that player getting sent off from that resulting free kick they then give away a penalty yeah um, if you're the Mansfield boss you would be absolutely livid but like I say um, it's the, the League Cup um, against Wigan that's who we've been drawn against um, in that oh and, and we've got our um, the like leasing.com or the checker trade or whatever the group for this we've got Manchester United under 23s again we could maybe get revenge because they did beat us didn't they like last season so and we've got Fleetwood who we know like you know what I mean like they, they were a a bit of a bogey side that's why we ended up signing Hunter from them and then we've also got Oldham as well in this group so it's not it's not particularly an easiest group like to get out of but anyway guys do take it easy one of those would be also um, massively appreciated if you're new why don't you hit that sub button and um, get uh, um, the old dingling ling the little bell so you don't like miss out on anything and I'll catch you on the next one stay from Moomongo Gaming signing off cheers